What's good guys? What is good? It is Mr. Mineral. Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I'm late to the party. I had to go to bed last night. I was fucked. So here we go. If you just loaded in offline, as per all direct mode glitches, you need to go to game in story mode, load game. And load your last save game. Because if you don't do that, it won't let you on direct mode because it thinks you're glitching. We are glitching. But that's the way around it. Other than that, you can restart your game. It's quicker just to load your last save game. So I have just fast forwarded this little bad boy. Here we go. We're back in story mode where it was. But now we've got a load save game. It don't think we've just come offline. So from here, you're just going to hold the middle button, the touchpad, get your interaction menu, and you're going to go to director mode. This is dead easy, guys. Like, you can buy presses for nothing and they sell for like 2 million each. I think it's only for PS4 at the minute. So let's do it. So we're in director mode. Now, if you want to apply some settings like exploding bullets and super jump, I'm not sure what carries over. I think it's a bit random. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. But if you want to do that, put it there and then enter director mode at the bottom just here. So, literally, guys, we'll just drop into director mode now. Here we go, come on baby. Right, so press your touchpad again, hold that. And we're going to go to Scene Creator. So it's just down the bottom there, Scene Creator. Just click on that and get involved. Then you're going to press Start. And then go all the way to the right. Don't click any scene, just go all the way to the right. And you're going to go to Rockstar Editor. Click on that. And then go back to Director Mode. You'll see it just there. Third one down. Click on that bad boy. And just step step to go back to the trailers. Now from here. You're just going to go down to Enter Director Mode. Jobs are good and Pretty easy guys. You shouldn't fuck up. Now you're going to hold the touchpad again. And you're going to go to scene creator again once scene creator loads up we're just going to click on scene one we click on that click on props now you don't need to put any props down but if you do want to have a fuck around in online if you've got all your shit if this is the second time round or third time round some good shit you can just go put it anywhere online and join a public session and everyone will be living the dream. If not, just press four clicks to the left. You want stump blocks. So I'm just pissing around here seeing what comes online and what don't, but it does come online. But literally, when you're on stump blocks, you're gonna do the next bit. So give me a second, let me finish putting these bad boys down. Now you're gonna press start. And you're going to go back to Rockstar Editor, which if you press R1, it'll take you there from when you press Start. So press R1 a few times, Rockstar Editor, click on that, and then click on Director Mode. Now when you click on Director Mode this time, you'll get a black loading screen. So literally it'll just sit on here, guys. So what you're going to do, you're going to load up a recent activity. So in previous glitches, when we say we need previous activity... You don't want the dupes and stuff. If you get stuck on a black loading screen, press the middle button, go to GTA, and press down. Go to activities. Wait for that to load up, then press across. And look for someone that's purchased a new vehicle or something that will take you to GTA 5 online. So this bloke's got a bounce edge. Click on that. Now you see on the right, start GTA Online. Click on it once, and then we're going to decline the next one. So press circle to decline it. No. Now you're floating in the air. So you want to press start. Then we're going to go to online, and play GTA Online. Now you can do invite only session, or you can go, which will take to a normal online game. I'm just going in like invite only session. 
Like I say guys, you shouldn't get stuck on here. Most of you have probably already done it, but I did need my sleep last night. Even though I didn't get much, I was still on pretty late. But I was just pissing around with it, seeing what had happened, what had not happened. So, from there, you're going to go up to settings on your PlayStation. Network. And where it says connect to the internet, there's a tick. Just press on it once. Wait a sec. Click on it again and go back to GTA. Now, this is a bit some people might struggle on. You might get a few, few things happen. Yeah, whatever. Just okay on it all. Look in the bottom right. It says quitting session. You're looking for an orange loading symbol rather than a white one. It should go orange and then join in GTA Online. If not, back to network. Untick it, then tick it again. Back to GTA. We're looking for the orange loading symbol. Leave it a second. No, not coming. Go back to network. Yeah, the steps up this shit. Probably give it about 40 seconds in each time. And then try again. I'll just see if it come back on. No good. Happy Saturday, guys. If you do like today's video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and all the other good shit. So, connect to network again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Accept that. Now we're looking in the bottom right for a uh, orange loading symbol. Quitting session. There we go, look guys, the orange loading symbol's there. And it should say joining GTA Online. Now we've got that. I'm just going to speed this bad boy up a little bit. Because it is a long loading screen to get in. And we're nearly halfway. So here we are guys, we've just loaded in and we're glitched out in the sky. You can walk around up here. It thinks we're in my hangar, but we're not. There you go. So what you do from here, just press start, online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, missions, and then just whip yourself into Titan of a job. We're not going to play Titan of a Job, we're just going to back out of it once it loads up and lets us back out. Yeah, quit the job. And we're in a hangar. So this is it guys, we've entered director mode online. So if this was an online session, you can go piss around on your stunt block, see if you got all exploding bullets and stuff, and all the other good shit. You can get outfits, not 100% sure on that yet, what you're doing. But here we are. Now to get the phone up and then press right and then X. It's an invisible one. And then just come buy all this shit. If you look at my money, the only draw side to this, the downside, you need the cash in the first place. So to buy this, it's three and a half million. You need three and a half million. Nothing will come out of your bank, but you need the cash. So what I suggest is if you only got a bit of cash, buy what you can buy that's gonna sell for some money. And do the next bit, save it sell it and do it again but for me i've got enough money just buy what you want now it will only save if you can move it around afterwards so i'm not sure about the pegasus vehicles yet the ones that you have to order i can't move them around but the best thing to buy is the pressers if you've got retro customs i'd probably sell them just buy over them with the pressers because i think the oppressor when i went online it sells for like two million something so if you're buying a hundred fucking oppressors you are laughing so just keep buying them guys fill your motorbike club fill all your garages buy oppressors i think the uh the airplane sells well as well the new airplane but obviously just buy what you want now um I did buy the houses, but I'm not sure how that works because obviously it downgrades and puts cars and shit in storage, but I want to move them around. So, if you're just going in for the kill and getting the cash, just buy over any shit cars you've got and just put pressers there. Or the aeroplane in your hangar. You want the big bastard aeroplane. But from here, you can see the cash is not coming out of my bank. I'm just stocking up on oppressors. And if you're not in no rush to sell them, guys, just store them there. You can just sell one every year and there when you want, when you're normal back online. So this is the aeroplane. 
I've been and done the bastard up. Sell them online like a boss. So what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to go save it. This is the next part. Just pretend you've bought everything. You can chill in here as long as you want. Could be an online session or an invite only. Mine is an invite only. Now watch carefully because this bit's quite quick. I didn't go very detailed in this, which I probably should. I'm going to press start. And you're going to go to this point on the map. Rewind the video if you want. There's the pay and spray. Somewhere around there. And you're just going to fly to that. So let's speed this up. Get over there. And this is the bit where we're going to save it and we move on to the next bit. So as you can see guys, we've just pulled up to the marker and all you do now is just go roughly where the marker is and just keep going up. And there you go, you let the black screen, you'll be in this black loading screen. Well, it ain't even a loading, yeah it is a loading screen. You're in a black loading screen. Now, to get out of that, you're going to want to join somebody in a different targeting mode and then decline it. So if you're not sure how to do that, go to creator, change your targeting mode. So, this is the bit I was struggling on last night, to be honest. I did it twice, and both times I fucked up and hit someone else. Because everyone else is doing director mode, they're all gone in free aim. So, obviously we go in free aim to try and join someone, because most people are normally in assisted aim. So just go up to friends. The first friend I clicked on wasn't online properly. So... Just go to one of your friends that are playing GTA Online and you're going to have to hope that they're in a different targeting aim. If not, if they're still online, go change your targeting aim and do it again. This bit is very important or none of your shit will save. Just go to GTA and see there it says request to watch. So I backed out of that and then we did it properly. So friends, adjust this. He's playing a heist, that'll do. So we're going to go over to GTA, just there, click on it, and then join, bottom left, join, click on that, get in session details, do you want to join a different session, yes, is it a different targeting mode, no, we don't want to accept that, and now we're back, we're in the same session we was in, we should have a cheeky little double menu, and it's worked. So what you do from here guys, you go in all your garages and you swap all your boat motorbikes and anything you've bought, swap them in different slots. So if you've got tenor presses in Mariachi Heights, go in there and swap them all around different slots and they'll save when you do the next bit. So from here guys, you just go to creator, and that's it. Just go to a normal online session. All your shit should be saved. If you want to redo it again, you've got to close the app. Start GTA up. Now listen carefully because this is what people are fucking up on. As soon as this woman goes now, we're going to press R1 and L1 and hold them. So as soon as that woman goes, when you've turned your game off and on, and you get the black screen, you're going to hold R1 and L1. And that will enable you to redo the director mode. Otherwise, it will say something about can't save your cloud data. So, all this time now, we're holding R1 and L1 until you get to this screen. Let go of them and just press confirm. Jobs are good, and you're loading back into story mode. And that's it, guys. Go again, rinse and repeat. Do what you gotta do. I'm Mr. Mineral. See you in the next one. Peace.